Making a positive first impression is important in many things we do in our lives. For example, attending a job interview, meeting new people, or speaking in front of others. When showing livestock, showmanship is one of those important first impression times. Whether showing at your local county fair or a major national show, the judge's first impression as you enter the show ring has a big impact on his or her final decision. Showmanship refers to how you present your animal including cleanliness, grooming, sportsmanship, and common courtesy to make the best impression on the judge in the show ring. Showmanship is also how well you handle your animal, how it reacts to you and others. Showmanship is the one area of livestock showing over which the exhibitor has the most control. In showmanship, you are judged on your ability to control and present your animal to bring out its best characteristics. A good show person has a sense or knack for an effective presentation of an animal. Advanced planning, practice, and hard work are the keys to becoming a good show person. Showmanship success at the fair depends on the amount of time you work with your steer or heifer at home. It's important to remember that you can't teach an animal to be show ring ready in just one day. Just like you, your steer or heifer has its own personality. It will have good days and bad days, so it's important that you exercise patience as you work with your animal. Be consistent and humane as you care for and train your animal. If your practice time with the animal is a good experience, then it will remember and enjoy working with you. By doing chores and caring for your cattle properly, it learns good things happen when you are around. This will help you gain the trust of your animal. Trust plays an important part as you and your beef cattle are a team in the show ring. Cattle showmanship not only generates enthusiasm, competition, and fun in the show ring, but it also teaches many valuable lessons that can be used in day-to-day -day life. These lessons include responsibility, learning about work, winning graciously, losing with dignity, and determination to reach a goal. This video is intended to help beef cattle enthusiasts understand proper showmanship techniques. When entering a showmanship contest, it is important to dress appropriately. An exhibitor should always check the rules of the show to make sure his or her attire or clothing meet the requirements of the show. Most judges prefer an exhibitor to look nice, but not to the point where he or she is a distraction from his or her animal. The exhibitor should not be the main attraction. Make sure you are wearing clean clothes that are free from holes. Long sleeve shirts are more formal than short sleeves. Colored shirts with collars are normally recommended. Pants should be worn with a belt, fit properly, and be clean. Pressed jeans or slacks are recommended. Shoes should have hard soles, be clean, and free from holes. Boots are acceptable, but not mandatory. Make sure your clothing doesn't look like you just came from the wash rack. Your cattle should be clean and properly fit before you enter the show ring. The preparation of your animal will reflect upon you as a showman. Entering the show ring is your first chance to make an impression on the judge. This first impression is probably the most influential as the judge evaluates the class. As you enter, be sure to catch the eye of the judge with a confident smile. Know the pattern the judge is using. The best way to know the pattern is to watch a class before yours. If you are the first class in the show ring, it's okay to ask the ring steward the pattern. Bring your cattle into the ring at a natural pace. Don't run in with it or drag it in. 
Your animals should be able to walk with you into the show ring and around the arena with little or no effort. The way your animal responds to you while traveling around the arena is an important factor in judging showmanship. Remember, the first impression is important. Lead your cattle with your right hand on the halter lead strap. You need to hold the lead strap about six inches from the animal's face. If the halter has a long chain and you will be holding onto the chain at six inches from the head, put black electrical tape on the chain for comfort in holding the chain. Hold the show stick in your left hand with the stick straight up and down. This will help you have better control of the stick and keep from poking the cattle in front of you. If your steer or heifer tends to walk too fast, you can hold the stick in a horizontal position in front of the animal's face so it knows that it is there. Do not hit the animal with the show stick. When leading the cattle, keep the animal's head up in a natural position. Watch the judge while moving your animal around the ring so you are ready to do as directed. When you move into line or are directed to stop by the ring steward or judge, switch your show stick to your right hand and the lead strap to your left hand. Remember to keep your hand about six inches from the animal's head. As you prepare to stop and set up your animal, try to move the front feet into position without the show stick. Use the show stick to set the rear feet and scratch the cattle's stomach. This will help keep the top line straight and help calm the animal. Don't use the stick like a saw. Be slow and deliberate when scratching the animal. This will also keep you calm. Be confident, concentrating on presenting the cattle with the least amount of visible effort. This will take considerable practice at home to make sure your steer or heifer is willing to work with you at the show. Attending other shows prior to the fair will help give you and your cattle a chance to experience the show ring atmosphere. Spacing is always an issue as you move around the ring. If the person in front of you stops, you must also stop and be courteous to those around you. Spacing is critical. Make sure you leave enough room for you to display your cattle. As you approach the lineup, leave enough space to effectively set up and work around your animal. While you can't control the people around you, you can leave enough space, about one animal width, so if the person next to you crowds, you can move over slightly and have ample room. Be sure to line up even with the first animal in the class so when the judge looks at the cattle, they will be in a straight line. Contestants need to find a balance between watching the judge, watching where they are going, and watching their animal. If the contestant never makes eye contact with the judge and only watches ahead in the show ring, he or she may be lost from the judge's view. Don't stare at the judge with a painted on smile. Find a balance to be as professional and courteous as possible while having fun. Make sure your facial expressions indicate that you are having fun without appearing phony. As you enter the show ring, stand up straight and look at the judge. As you are walking your cattle, look at the judge. Look where you are going. Look at the judge. Look where you are going, and so on. When you are lined up as the judge walks around the ring, contestants need to know where the judge is at all times. While lined up, look at the judge, check your cattle, look at the judge, and then check your cattle. Eye contact is one way to get the judge to notice you and your steer or heifer. Control of your cattle in the show ring is a must. Legs should be positioned at the four corners of the body by training the animal to set its feet using the show stick. Sticking the cattle, as it is called, is touching the animal between the toes or near the dew claw to move the foot into the proper position. 
Slight pressure with the show stick will help the exhibitor move the animal's feet. A slight pull or push on the animal using the halter will help in setting the feet properly. Practicing at home will help you get the animal to set its feet quickly and stay set. Make sure you line up your cattle with the rest of the animals in the class. Give yourself plenty of room. Don't crowd the cattle on either side. This will allow the judge to get a good look at your animal. When setting the animal up side by side in line, get the feet set square on all four corners of the body. This will help the animal appear wider and allow the judge to see how you and your animal work together. When setting up on a side profile, it is important to watch the judge and other cattle so that you can get your steer or heifer in line and set correctly as quickly as possible. Make sure you leave a little space between you and the exhibitor in front of you in case the person behind you gets too close. This will allow you the chance to move ahead if needed. Setting up on the side profile can be done by having your animal set with all four feet square or by having the offset leg, the one opposite the judge, pulled slightly forward to help the cattle look a little more natural and level the top line. The cattle can also be loined for this view. Scratching the top line near the loin of the cattle causes them to drop their loin a little and the pin bones or the tail head to come up a little, giving the rump a squarer look and leveling the top line. Keep the steer or heifer's head up to help the animal be more eye appealing and level topped. Make sure you set the feet that the judge will be viewing first. For example, if the judge will be viewing the rear of your cattle first, set the rear legs, then place the front legs. If the judge is checking the side view first, be sure to place the two legs nearest the judge first. Don't stretch the animal out too far. This is not a natural position and the animal won't look its best. The judge will come in for close inspection and to handle your animal at some time during the class. Make sure you are ready when he or she gets to you by having your animal correctly set while maintaining eye contact with the judge. The judge will usually talk to you and touch your animal. It is important to keep showing while the judge is handling your cattle. If they ask you questions, answer them politely to the best of your ability. Once the judge moves on, reposition the feet of your animal, if needed, and then comb your animal. Don't comb immediately after the judge leaves. Wait until the judge moves on so that he or she can see you. Be calm and deliberate in your movements. Don't hurry. One of the most important and first views the judge prefers is a rear view of the steer or heifer. This view is often accomplished by placing the cattle in a line and then inspecting them from the rear. The key points to remember when the judge is inspecting from the rear are, make sure your cattle is set up as wide and square as possible, keep the animal comfortable and natural, scratch the animal's belly with the show stick, and maintain eye contact with the judge. It is important that you keep your cattle set up on all four corners of its body to give the judge the opportunity to see your animal at its best. During the course of a showmanship contest, the judge will normally want to inspect your cattle from the front. It is important that you do a good job of allowing the judge the proper view. You want to set your cattle up with the feet square on all four corners of the body. To allow the judge the proper view, you should make sure you as an exhibitor aren't standing directly in front of the cattle. Position yourself as you would for any other view while maintaining eye contact with the judge. As the judge passes in front, no matter which direction, Make sure you acknowledge that they are there. Never turn and face the judge when they are making a front inspection. If the judge approaches you from the right side, turn your body slightly toward them while continuing to show the animal. 
As the judge moves away from you going left, turn your body slightly back to where you were. Acknowledge the judge while continuing to show the animal. Do not get in a big hurry or make a big fuss. Showmanship is a skill that requires nice, easy, smooth movements. Maneuvering and repositioning your cattle will need to be done at some point while you are in the show ring. Do this as calmly and smoothly as you can, with as little movement of your body as possible. You are trying to showcase your animal, not yourself. When lining up, you should always be in a direct line with the first person, whether you are head to tail or side by side. If for some reason you are not in line correctly, you will need to reposition your beef. You can accomplish this by walking your animal forward out of line a few steps, turn into the head of your cattle, pull all the way through the spot you were in, turn into the head of your animal, and then back into the same spot in line. When on the side profile, lead your cattle out of line and turn into the head of the animal. Lead the cattle in a clockwise circle and move back into your spot in line. Limit the times you reposition your cattle. Too much movement in and out of line to reposition will draw negative attention. This can be a sign of lack of control. When you are lined up head to tail in the ring and if the judge moves the cattle standing directly in front of you to a new position in the show ring, Move your cattle ahead to fill in the spot vacated by the other cattle and exhibitor. It's important to remember the purpose of maneuvering and repositioning is to keep your cattle where the judge has the best view. Most judges will include some type of interview during the showmanship contest. This may include a few questions between the judge and the contestant or a general question that all contestants answer on the microphone. As the judge is interviewing other contestants, it's important to continue showing your steer or heifer. You need to have your animals set up correctly to be prepared when the judge comes to talk to you. Eye contact with the judge as he or she is approaching your cattle is important. No matter what the scenario is, you need to do your homework ahead of time so that you are prepared for questions. Questions need to be answered with enthusiasm and confidence. Be specific when answering questions. For example, if the judge asks you what you'd like to change about your animal, don't just say it needs more muscle. Be more specific and tell the judge where your steer needs more muscle. In the round. If you do not know the answer, be honest and tell the judge you don't know, but you will find out and let them know. Don't guess. If you guess wrong, it is worse than if you admit you don't know the answer. Also, when answering questions, be sure to look the judge in the eye. This is a sign of confidence. Questions may include topics such as, name one thing you like about your animal. This doesn't mean the animal is nice, it means what are its good qualities. For example, is it wide from hooks to pins? They may ask where specific body parts are located. How much back fat does your steer have? How large of a ribeye should your steer have? What are you feeding your steer or heifer? When answering this question, be sure to include in the answer the brand of feed you are feeding with the amount as well as water and minerals. What did you do to prepare your animal for the show ring? What breed is your heifer? What is your heifer's birth date? Is she bred yet? When do you expect your heifer to calve? How much does your steer weigh? How many days has it been on feed? What vaccinations have you given your steer or heifer? And what is the average dressing percentage on steers? Showmanship is one of the most important and rewarding parts of any animal project. It is your opportunity to showcase your animal 
and show that you have learned to bring out the good points in your animal. Each show is a little different and showmanship may be the first class of the day or it may be the last class of the day. No matter when it is held, showmanship should be a priority during the entire show. It is your way to showcase your animal. Some tips to remember in showmanship are, good showmen are calm, smooth, confident, courteous, and even a little aggressive. Showmen should always look like they are enjoying what they are doing. This may come in the form of a smile or facial expression showing they are enjoying themselves. Don't try and fake enthusiasm with a painted on smile. The judge may question whether you are happy to be there. Know where the judge is at all times. Find a balance between eye contact and your animal. Putting too much focus on any single item can result in losing out. Always keep your animal position correctly. If your animal becomes out of position, reposition it immediately. Work with your animal ahead of time. It needs training just as you do. A steer or heifer needs to learn how to set up and stay set up for long periods of time. The animal needs to learn to lead easily, stop and set up as directed by the judge and stand while the judge handles it. Do your homework ahead of time so you are prepared for any questions the judge may ask. Each judge has his or her own preferences. This video is only a step towards learning how to be a good showman. If possible, watch the judge evaluate a class before yours and listen to him or her critique that class. Then be flexible. If the judge does not like you to loin the animal, don't loin the animal. Keep a judge's log for future reference. If you are planning on showing cattle for a number of years, you may want to start a judge's log so in case you ever show under the same judge again, you will know what techniques he or she likes best and looks for when judging. Sportsmanship is key. Everyone needs to learn to lose as well as win. Good luck and have fun showing.